Hello everybody, nice to meet you today. My name is Ekaterina and we are now in our 5 minutes Ukrainian grammar class. And one of my subscribers, James Jones, James, hello, asked me to talk about these three letters of Ukrainian language. G, H and H. And it's quite common that people are mislead or people are misunderstand how to pronounce them correctly, especially in the beginning when they are not very good hearing Ukrainian all the time. So uh, let's start from the beginning and look at these two letters. If you go to the grammar book or if you go to the book for beginners, quite often you can, you can find out, you can read that this is the H sound. And then you became confused because this is H sound and it might seem that there are two H sound in Ukrainian language and so you're thinking why to pronounce them, like why, why do you have two letters guys if it's one sound? So uh, probably there should be something why we are like why Ukrainians invented two letters instead of only one H H letter. So basically here what you can see it's really H, it's really H sound when you don't use your voice at all you just uh, exhale your air and that's it and it occurs in Ukrainian words hata, chimia, hotiti, haltura I don't use any voice I just h, ha, ho, hu it's just exhaling and making h sound basically it's uh, a little bit similar to the sound of h in house house household H, only H, but in English it's a little bit more stressed, in Ukrainian you're just exhaling it, so this is H, H sound. And as for this, this is G, H, H sound, it's not G, G letter, but it's H sound, H. Like in the words Holova, Harno, Snig, Holos, you can see them here. So Gruden, it's the name of the 12th month in Ukrainian, Gruden. So it's H letter, H sound. And H um, is pronounced with using your voice. When I'm pronouncing H, I'm not only exhaling air, I'm using something here, like some, some of my H nerves and my mouth, uh, like my tongue is a little bit close to my upper mouth, huh, huh, huh. so I'm using voice and I'm, when I'm exhaling, I'm using my mouth, I'm uplifting my mouth a little. So you can compare hata and holova, holovny, gruden, holos, huh. so it's really when I'm saying hu, 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 hu. It's a little bit softer. If you ever take a look at Russian language, it's softer than Russian G. Ukrainian G is softer. G. And uh, we have another G. Like, so this is, this is not H. Don't be confused by grammar books. This is H sound. It's not H, it's G. G, H, H, H sound. And then another guy comes here. It's G sound. Uh, this letter calls G. So if this is H, this is G, and G letter is quite rare for Ukrainian language, and it's a very hard G sound. It's really G, G, and it's stronger than even Russian G if you don't Russian ever. And we have the word Grund, for example, Grund, and Gudzik, like button Gudzik, and Ganok. So compare Holova Ganok, Gruden um, Gudzik. Gruden, g, gruden, g, gudzik. So that's how you pronounce it very hardly. And here maybe you noticed I didn't I didn't name two two words. The one here is g grati uh, and h grati. So sometimes uh, how you pronounce the letter it it changes the meaning because grati is to play to play a musical instrument or to play any game. It's grati. And G, grati, is a kind of imprisonment, you know, it's a kind of this stuff protecting prisoners from escaping, grati. So you should be careful. Basically, the main point of this video is that this is H and H sound, you don't use any voice, you're just exhaling, it's very close to H later in English language, H, but it's even less pronounced in Ukrainian, Hata, Hotiti, 
бухгалтура, хімія, холодильник. Just exhaling х. This one is not х sound. You use your voice when you exhaling. It's г г sound. Г and you use your voice. You use in here you need a little bit close your mouth your back back part of the tongue is a little bit uplifted towards the, uh, the top of your mouth g голова грати uh, anything with голос сніг грудень it's g the sound doesn't exist in english so it's something in between g and h g g sorry and h like g in gates and h like in honey and but you use in your voice and you're doing it g голова and this one is strong g like gates but gates even stronger than in english and uh, it occurs quite rare in ukrainian but you need to to pronounce it strongly like g rund grund gates gelgotite agrus It's, it's not, uh, there are examples in the vocabulary, you can practice them, but basically two G sounds, soft G, G, and hard G, 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 and H sound, H sound, which are completely different, and we can hear it as native speakers. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and now you know how to pronounce it. Leave me a comment if you're still struggling, if you still have any questions. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for this channel. Bye-bye.